Now to turn on back on your battery and your inverters, again the sticker, the shutdown procedure, it just does state uh, it's a reverse order to turn everything back on. So we'll start with the battery first, unclip, uh, the circuit breaker all built in to the on position and make sure you close the battery case back after. Then obviously the uh, restarting procedure per inverter uh, we do the reverse. So last thing we did before the battery was the DC breakers so we can turn the DC back on as such. Now you'll find that if your meter box was installed here or within three meters of the inverter um, you may not have this AC isolator switch. You'll find in your meter box or switchboard there will be a circuit breaker labeled uh, main switch inverter supply. Turn that into the on position. Um, obviously being the reverse order, turn the power on as such. Uh, you might hear the inverters making a noise. And then last step, move the toggle switch from the zero position to the one position. And the same thing, if you've got a second inverter, zero to one. Um, this now will show you that the inverters are starting up. You may hear some noises as everything starts. Again, um, it can take a few minutes. As you'll see from the inverter screen, it is showing uh, the waking up process with a countdown clock. Uh, if the screen is blank, again, press the green button underneath there, which will show the display. And that is how you turn back on your Solar Edge inverter and batteries. Of course, if you give it a few minutes, you've got access to the Solar Edge app to see what it's producing, or alternatively, after the countdown, you will see on the screen there the production. Thank you again.